Today, I went to the bathroom after I woke up, and my pee didn't go in the direction I had anticipated. Rather, it split at a downward angle and hit the edge of the toilet bowl, allowing some of the urine to drip down the front of the toilet before I was able to correct the stream's aim into the bowl of the toilet. Sometimes I wondered if it would just be easier to always pee sitting down unless there's a urinal around. I hate having to clean up my pee when it doesn't go where I want it to go. So today, I'm going to be telling some more Red Sox jokes. Uh, we left off at uh, the tenth joke that I have had uh, written, so today we will start with the eleventh joke. Here we go. Eleven. If the Red Sox are walking along the beach right next to the ocean, and they don't expect the waves to come in very far, judging by where the sand is wet, but suddenly it swells up and goes far enough to wash past their feet, they'd get wet. They should then, at that point, probably have their name changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd have really wet socks. 12. If the Red Sox did a charity car wash and splashed water everywhere while washing someone's vehicle, they would probably get their socks a little wet. In which case, they should have their name changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 13. If there was some guy who was really angry with the Red Sox, and he went into each of their houses while they were asleep and put their hands in warm water, the Red Sox would all urinate on themselves. And maybe if they urinated enough, or moved around while they were asleep, it would get all over their socks. Then a better name for their team would be the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 14. If the Red Sox ever met up with Chuck Norris, he would probably roundhouse kick the team so hard that they'd be thrown into the Arctic Ocean because Chuck Norris doesn't like men that spend their time swinging wood at a bunch of balls. And while it is mostly cold there, it is also quite wet. So wet that their name should be changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 15. I bet that when the Red Sox are playing golf and some jerk turns on the sprinklers, they'd get pretty wet. In fact, so wet that they should have their team's name changed to the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 16. If the Red Sox ever threw pennies down a wishing well, only to later realize that their pennies were of rare print and only 26 were ever made, I bet they would dive down there to retrieve them, even though they'd get their socks wet. At that point, they could have their name changed to the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 17. When the Red Sox kick waterfalls to show off to people, I bet they'd get wet enough to be renamed to the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 18. If the Red Sox basement ever flood, and they'd have to go down there to retrieve something, I bet after wading through, they'd be soaked. Enough to be renamed the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 19. If the Red Sox ever spent seven days in a sphere, a sphere filled with water, and then at the end, before they got out, they tried to hold their breath for nine minutes and free themselves from shackles, they'd get pretty wet. Wet enough to get their name legally changed to the Wet Sox. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 20. When the Red Sox go for a morning jog and stride through a field, I bet sometimes there's a bunch of morning dew left on the grass. They'd probably get their shoes wet, and maybe even their socks, too. And if they did, they could have their name changed to the Wet Socks. Get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 21. If the Red Sox are ever stuck in the rain without umbrellas waiting for a bus, I bet they'd be hit by a lot of water. So much that their name could become the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd have wet socks. Wouldn't it be funny? If one day, there was a huge truck carrying a load of cyanide that suddenly jackknifed off the road it was on, crashing into some trees and spilling its contents everywhere, and at the same time, somewhere else on the road, the Red Sox were walking somewhere and they stepped in a puddle? Then they could be called the Wet Sox. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 23. If the Red Sox were around, that one time God cast a mighty shower on the earth that lasted 40 days and 40 nights, I bet they'd get wet so wet that their name should be changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> get it? Because they all have wet socks. 24. If the Red Sox 
were running some sort of marathon and accidentally got hit by a tsunami or something, their socks would get drenched. In fact, they'd be so wet that they could get their name changed to the wet socks. <laughs> get it? Because they'd have wet socks. 25. If the Red Sox were at the beach, outrunning the waves, crashing against the sand, but then a really big one comes and they can't outrun it, they'd get really wet socks. In fact, so wet, they should be called the wet socks. Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 26. When Trogdor the Burninator comes to the Red Sox village to burninate the land, I bet they get so scared that they'd hide underwater, predicting that it would defend against the burns. Then they'd get really wet socks. In fact, they'd be so wet that they could have the name changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 27. If the Red Socks are ever having a Tetris land party, and the laundry machine next to them opens up <laughs> spewing soapy water everywhere, they'd get soaked head to toe. They'd even get their socks wet. In fact, so wet that they should probably be called the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 28. When the Red Sox are out drinking, I bet sometimes they have to urinate, so naturally they'd go into the bar's restroom. Little do they know, there's a wet floor sign that they casually ignore, and they all slip and fall, landing in a slippery mess, making their socks extra wet. In fact, so wet that the name could be changed to the Wet Socks. <laughs> Get it? Because they'd all have wet socks. 29. If the Red Sox were really drunk and they thought they could part the Red Sea like Jesus did, I don't think that it would work, and they would walk through anyway because they were so drunk, thus getting their socks all wet. Then they could have their name changed to the Wet Socks. Get it? Because they'll have wet socks. Alright, I think that'll do it for today. I'll uh, see if I can get some more out later, but uh, that about wraps up part two of uh, my Red Sox jokes. Enjoy.